Hello, welcome to Sheepdog Enterprises. Today we're going to be discussing on how to create a oil lamp. It's a very simple process. I'm going to use pure olive oil, um, a jar of some kind. This is an old jam jar. A pair of pliers, needle nose pliers preferably. Um, a pair of scissors, an old rag, an old piece of cloth, and a hanger. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and convert this all into a simple old-time oil lamp. So what we're going to do to start is we're going to go ahead and take this hanger and we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut off the main section. This is an old wire hanger, so the main section here between the two turns or the two shoulders. And then we're going to start bending it up. So take your needle nose pliers. They usually have a way to cut a piece of metal here on the on the inside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and reach in here and we're gonna go ahead and cut that out. And then we're gonna come over here to the other side. And before the bend, we're gonna cut that out. So now we're gonna have a straight piece of wire and we're gonna have leftover hanger. We don't really need this anymore, so let's go ahead and set that off to the side. So now for this for this project, what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, bend this wire so that it fits inside of the jar, but actually hangs on the outside of the rim here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clean this area up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and move the olive oil out of the way. We're going to go ahead and uh, use this cloth. We'll put that up off a little bit later, so we don't need that right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try and just eyeball the center of this wire so that I can go ahead and make the turns or the, the twists and turns that I need. So what I'm going to do is on one side I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bend it up and around the top of the, the needle nose. And on the bottom side, I'm going to go the opposite direction. All right, and it doesn't need to be a lot, just a, just enough to, to make a good twist. And then we're going to go ahead and pull it off of the pliers. And you can see that there's a, a good little twist there. All right. So next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring this over and we're going to measure it out on the um, jar. So I know that I need that to be in that general area there. So let's go ahead and take, and I'm going to bend this up. Straight up like that. So that's going to fit in there. And then this one I need to bend in this general area and that also needs to come straight up. So now, not quite tight enough. There we go. Let's get that bent a little bit more. As you can see that's going to go ahead and slide right inside there. So do is we'll bend this so that it has a hook to lay over the edge and we're going to do the same on this other side so it too has a hook and you should have something that looks some similar to this okay then we're going to go ahead and take it and we're going to test fit it Make sure that it fits down inside the jar there, which it does. So that looks good. And again, this is so that, as you can see, it's up off the bottom. But what we're going to do is we're going to be using that section here in a second. So let's go ahead, take that off. And we're going to go ahead and set that off to the side. Now for the wick, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a wick out of this old cotton t-shirt. 
And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make a simple cut. We want a little bit of, make sure we have enough wick that it's going to fit inside there. So a couple quick cuts here. And I'm going to use the part that's turned over on and tied to itself and that's going to be my wick as you can see there all right so we'll fold it over on itself one more time and then we're going to take it and we're going to feed it up through here you want it to be tight enough that it'll hold but not so tight that you can't adjust it up and down all right so let's check the other side. See how see if how tight how tight that side is. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the twist that's in there to lock it in place. All right. So we have our wick. We have our holder. We have our jar. I'm going to go ahead and place it inside here. All right, just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put some oil into it. Go ahead and pour it over the top of that wick there. Olive oil is a very non-flammable oil. It's very good for this. You can use the extra rag to wipe off your hands even. And we've got to let that soak for a couple of minutes. And when we do, when it's when it's ready here, we'll bring it back and I will get it lit up for you so you can see how it works. All right, so we've come back after a couple of minutes and everything is ready to go. I went ahead and tested it. Flame was a little bit high, so what we're going to have to do is we brought the, the wick down, so it's just just a little bit. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and light this up. And again, like I said before, this is a olive oil, so it takes a little bit to get it lit. It doesn't just readily light. But once it is lit, you'll have a nice little light. I'm going to go ahead and turn out the lights here so you can see that it gives off a decent amount of light. Nice little project, fun to do. If you've enjoyed this project, please like and subscribe. And if you want to learn more, please come to go to sheepdogenterprises.com. Link's down in the description below. And uh, look forward to seeing you there. Thanks so much for watching.